Alright, welcome everyone, once again, to Let's Play Romance of Three Kingdoms 11 out of the series JG. I'm really tired, but I've decided I would sneak in a recording of this before getting some sleep, which I desperately need. So, don't expect too much from me in this video, but, you know, how much can you expect from somebody who's come so close to conquering China, clearly fatigue must be setting in. Liu Bei, the Emperor of the Han, is is growing old and tired. And yet, with old man Zhuge Liang helping him, he must finish off the Red Dudes of Wu. Now, um, Can Z's over here being a pain in the ass, taking out my shit uh, from a different direction from the one everyone else came in. There's no officer over here now. I should think about taking this place out sooner rather than later. Guan Yu's running the city now. Well, interesting. What kind of military shit I got going on here? I could send out, uh, vessels? Hey, I could send out a unit with vessels. It's a bunch of catapult units. I could send out a big ass cavalry unit and catapult unit to take this port and make sure that this kind of shit doesn't happen again. But, uh. GG Mysteries. Kick ass catapult units. Yeah, I've got all the greats here in town ready to, ready to serve my army. What kind of cavalry unit would I send out? Jing Tsai and Pang Tong would run the cavalry unit together. That's pretty cool. What about uh, Bobo Vulture and Shi Grimoth also here? They appear to be involved in something else at the moment. Yeah, but I can't really send out big ass units right now because I don't have enough food in Shao Chun. Guys are doing pretty darn good for food. Not that well for gold, but great for food. You guys, yeah, you just got so much stuff going on here that something's got to give, basically. Take this, motherfucker. It says to be Janifak. You did some pretty serious damage to this unit there. Good job, Lee Janifak. Now, uh, Lu Jiang is a city that's gonna have to fall. It's being run by Taishi Si. But I think there's another Wu city up here where I'm looking forward to seeing if uh, Ma Tang is uh, riding again, folks, once again, leading a glorious army, this time in the service of the Han, uh, no longer being kind of an enemy. Oh, Zhu Shu. Zhu Shu? Wait a second here. Oh, that's funny, I don't remember having, uh, on him in my force. Uh, must have happened reasonably recently. I'm just, I don't know. Like I said, I'm tired. But that's Jushu, Jushu, one of the city. And, uh, there's a Mr. Galagoth that's leading a really good cavalry unit, but, uh, he's badly outnumbered here. And, uh, these are all pretty serious generals that he's facing off with. So yeah, I'll be interested to see if they can actually do something about that place, you know? And are you guys finally going on an attack, or are you just building shit that I don't really need you to build? Lee Su. Guys should be sending your boats and shit over here where I can, you know, so I can use them. They got that big ass Boo City in the way. Zhu Huang, Sorkinel, Zhao He, Zhuge Liang. 
these guys were going on the attack, weren't they? I believe they were. Well, who can send some, some food to Shaochun? GP probably needs to start thinking about launching its own attacks pretty soon. Because they just took this port, so they can come down here. Sui is hanging out here. They can come down here and uh, help on the boats and uh, maybe attack Wu itself. Wouldn't that be interesting? Jian Yi is actually the nearest city. To there. Let's see, how long would how would that work? So I decided to send out a big ass cavalry and a Zhao Yun and the Empress herself. Decided that they want to attack Jian Ye. It'd take a hundred days. And it's gonna involve swinging around this corner here. Yeah. Now the problem this city has, I don't think they've got any boats. Down across here, that would be a pretty big freaking deal though. There's just so much going on, there's so much to do and see. Well, your Falls army is not actually quite finished over here, but, uh, they've destroyed the, uh, enemy army that was hanging around outside the city, so... 700... Pull together... Pull yourselves together, man. And destroy enemy cities. That's the reason to pull yourselves together, of course. Of course, in America, of course. Let's get officer sounds back on. I'm kind of tired and not really in a fit state to play this right now, but uh, still realize that we need to have people going tum, 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 while we're attacking, where it's just not the same game that it should be. There's a leaf fang. There's a leaf garret. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Oh, I just hit my own dudes. What the hell? Oh, because I've got thunder now. Damn it. I should have been more careful with that. All right. well. Oopsies. Now, this is probably why I remember catapults being more trouble than they were worth. Because of that technique. You've got to be really careful with them and where you aim. Right, Falzer. Falzer perennially, perennially reminding me of town music from um, Seventh Saga 2. Even though know, the name Seventh Saga doesn't really mean a whole lot in that game, but. Uh, Mystic Arc, I guess it's actually called. Sequel to Seventh Saga. So, like, his unit's going around killing stuff, and I'm thinking. Oh, anyway, somebody else just took over the city. <laughs> Sorry, Ms. Zerfall. Just totally gave credit for your kill to Leon. Wasn't paying attention. But hey, I was singing your music, uh, because, you know, clearly music from Mystic Arc is your music when it happens. So, you know, think of it as being your victory, even if your character doesn't get the deeds. Mr. Deeds goes to Handang. Hamdangers was apparently one of the top dudes in the city. And uh, now he's going to be one of our dudes. And uh, I've been thinking about it. I'm not sure that I should have started killing members of the Soon family. I did kill one. Uh, in the previous video or so, uh, I think he was one of Sun Xuan's descendants who might take over the kingdom, and I 
think, if he's the guy I think he is, he was kind of a jerk, but I'm not even sure who it was, other than the fact that he was a member of the Soon family. And I really shouldn't have killed him, because once we actually retake Wu and we have captured them, like, you know, when Jin conquered Shu, they spared Liu Shan, not only because he wasn't a threat, but just as a, you know, to convince people of their benevolence, and uh, I might want to think about the same thing, but either way, let's try to employ as many of these people as we can. You want me to surrender or save your dream before you sleep? You have my pardon on you before you. I don't listen to you, your request. Save your breath. Dong Jesus. Pretty good officer, actually, so I recall. Oh, do you? I mean, nope. I'm not interested in pretty good as I refuse. Some of those guys, I think, were former way dudes. Yeah, we're not getting any of these guys, are we? Curse you. I have captured Hikui. So, there we go, folks. Um, 37,000 troops here. That took a pretty big bite out of wet blue. What have I got here? There's already 7,000 troops in the city. Let's, well, it's 7.5 plus 7.5, so call that 15. Uh, call this 23. 30, 36, 41, call it 46,000 troops, which means I could afford to send all of you all up there. I've already got these guys heading up there. Where are they being ordered to go? Where are you guys being ordered to go? Oh, never mind, you're District 3, so I didn't send you anywhere. But the point is that I can send out a... Well, I can reward from here, because i got lots of gold here. To Jang Chihuahua! Ooh, Chihuahua! You can make you move, Chihuahua! Can you feel the groove, Chihuahua? Forces, go ahead and send just about everything. These guys are never going to be, I don't think, threatened. This is the really important thing. We'll send a lot of food. And, of course, any ships that we still have here. And other sundry stuff. Fine. Now you guys can move over land if you so choose. That might make things a little faster. Now it's still 80 days. It's not really going to change the time too much. Uh, at that point, I'm going to edit districts. Uh, district. The orange district here, or the reddish district, is three. That's, sorry, edit district three and add Changsha to it. Okay, now I no longer have to worry about controlling that. Do I did I just screw up? These guys now not going to be mine. I think I may have just screwed up. Let's go undo that. And let us remove this city. Come back and redo that once I've got all these officers assigned to their new city. Okay. Don't know if that would have messed things up or not, but I don't feel like taking a chance with it. Alright. So that's that rather simple and easy to control front taken care of. What have I got going on down here? If I'm 
minute, I thought they were finally managing to attack the towers, but no. They've not actually broken through. This fight is, uh, pretty intense, actually. Zhuling, uh, Liu Kai. Get rid of these siege weapons before they become a problem. I came over here and messed you up. Let's go ahead and get another cavalry unit out there. Why the F not? Horses. These two. Bring a warship with them. Why not? And that's what worries me. The base stock of food is greatly lowered by all that. So let's not actually go out and lead the attack just yet. But we'll get Jing Tsai out into the fight. Ching chong, chai chow. Meanwhile, Jiao Pi, which I don't think is really in a position to uh, directly assault anybody right now. It's too far back from the front line. Uh, Oh, and they've sent away all of their military and stuff. No, that's my unit that has nothing in it. Never mind. Yeah, there's plenty of equipment left. I'm just... I won't give away everything the city has just yet. to uh, send out that unit. I've done that before, folks. I've lost track of... How many dudes I was leaving. Uh... Remember Chang An? Remember all that business where I kept sending out the last troop so that there were zero troops left in the city? Yeah. Looking threatening to do that again here. You sure you want me to move to Shouchun? Yeah, why not? Now that, that city will obviously need to start rebuilding itself now. First of all, why don't you guys do much the same? Pretty serious officers there, just in the middle of all this, are being forced to just recruit regular old troops. I just used all my domestic points, um, action points, I should say. Let's get these military units doing stuff. Yeah, there's just a lot of guys out in the field right now, aren't there? Yes, indeed. All these ram units hard at work here. Should be attacking the siege weapons first, stop them from taking out the towers, or what? It's a huge spirits unit. I feel like Zhu Ling is going to take himself out when I just let him attack on some turn. So let's uh, work on these rams here. Now these guys, 6,000 troops. They could actually be kind of dangerous. Of thrust. Follow me! So, yeah, they'd be a good unit to attack. Although I don't have enough will points to do anything really cool with these guys. 
Still, here's a cavalry unit that's almost dead. Wei Yan's unit pretty much needs to get back into the city. The city. Okay, so that's good. These guys are almost dead. Let them probably take themselves out. Bow unit that can use tactics against uh, cavalry. Which is, you know, they're not a super powerful cavalry unit, but it's still nice to take them out in a way that's a little risky. don't have the range to attack them, do you? No. as the uh, Monkey King. Hope you guys have picked up on that button. There's a crap bow unit. Maybe I can use them to take out one of these units that's just sort of being a pain in the ass. I do want to get rid of them before they start going around and chipping away at my towers. There we've got Dong Zhao. Who do we want him to take a crack at? There are so many choices. Maybe Dong Zhao can finish off these guys. Like I said, I was going to like wait, let them just take themselves out attacking on one turn, but I ah, see I didn't even quite finish them off. Like, damn it. See my flea and his kind of crap cavalry unit, but still, it's they'll prevent somebody from getting up there and attacking the tower. There was a very big battle that took place right along here, folks. This swamp here. Tons and tons of fighting went on. Uh, I've won, and now I'm wondering if um, they've got another 23,000 troops. 20,000 troops. I mean, my hope is that uh, they can't... is that they sort of broken their backs to a certain extent and will not be able to mount an attack of that size again. That would be nice, folks. Now we've got a ram unit here. It's like, that's the opposition to uh, Zhuge Liang's plan to invasion. Well, that's right, Zhuge Liang and his crew are going to invade Lu Xiang. They were going to leave that to Montang, that city, so... Uh... Zhu Huang has arrived. Here I go. Warrior. Master of surprise attack. Oh, cool! That surprise attack power is out of the, the, the woods there. I was afraid of that. They are not going to be able to reach. And you guys can attack from a distance because you're archers. But they're in a forest, so never mind. And there's nobody down here we really need to worry about, so. And you guys are not going to attack. Zhuge Liang is way too smart for that crap because he, even if I didn't remember it, when attacking the city. Down here, Zhuge Liang surely remembers that I've got Thunder research, which means that if he tries to attack with his catapults, he's going to beat the shit out of his own army. And the sound is acting skippy and making me nervous again. That's, uh, that's it, folks. I didn't leave enough action points to do anything out of GAP this turn. 
but uh, I think soon we need to soon the soon family haha <laughs> soon we need to attack out of here and probably try to attack Jian Yi even though I don't have ships there it's kind of foolish after all the building up and talking about getting ready for the invasion of Wu one of my first big cross attacks across Jiang Dong is probably gonna come from a city where I don't have ships ready unless there's transport units that are bringing them and I don't know that there are if you guys are not going to use your ships, Jiang Ling, then uh, you could send them my way. But at this point, I don't know. Oh, there's a, one of our finest officers right there. Yang Song. Nobody finer in all of China. But uh, were we to send these, these uh, ships over? Or even just uh, a big chunk of them? How long would it take for them to get to GMP? I would love to actually, uh... Love to actually get to see how long the trip will take before I confirm that I want you to go. Uh, officers, 12 horses, vessels, revenue. Tell me how many days long the journey is, damn it. Fine, fuck it. Any place up here actually have ships? No warships there. This is hardly a surprise. I wonder how many warships Jian Yi has to try to defend itself with. Zero. They don't have warships anyway. Even if the. Uh, I don't need warships to match the enemy's warships per se. Having warships when they don't would be nice. And there's Sun Chuan himself with his shaggy, shaggy beard. Working on building warships over here? They got three and they're building more. So, yeah, maybe I just need to send down some three units with warships just to get things rolling. Things unit is marched out. Guan So's unit. Oh, I should be watching my uh, my buddies here. Liu Bei, we have captured Sun Deng, who was plotting to spread rumors inside Shao Chun. Awesome. So Galagoth's units were recovered from confused. What would you have done at this time? Oh, I should have gotten up here and seen how the combat went, but I, I guess. Doesn't look like it actually went that well for my guys. I don't think they're being. I think they're using their numerical advantage to great efficiency. Ma Tang must have gotten confused or something because he's like way back. This is giving uh, Sun Xuan's guys combat advantage too. Well, amongst other things that I've got to do, I've been reminded by. Uh, I don't really know now if it's if it's a couple of guys or if it's the same guy reminding me in every single video. Uh, but I'm supposed to send Liu Bei to the city of Ye, yay, so that, um, we can get a special event, the Bronze Bird Tower event, and I'm certainly willing to give that a shot. It's more rewarding, and then I will, uh, well, let's check ranks again, it's been a little, has it been a while? Well, there's nine more people who can be promoted. Zhu Xu is the chief minister, and Jing Tsai is the chief officer. Yeah, who's getting demoted? That's what I... Well, Vulture Bobo is getting a promotion. He's going to be West Commander. Suayan is going to be a junior prefect, even though she hasn't done anything since joining my force. Zimi Yi is going to get a promotion to 
record secretary. Well, good for you, CME. Wang Zhang's getting demoted again. I like that. He's going around changing our dreams. Um, even though he's been a useful officer, shouldn't be fun. One pin's getting demoted. Not sure what he did to deserve that, but. The appointment of bureaucrats must be given serious consideration. The positions are kind of reward for the officer's deeds, after all. Now I'm off to Yi in the hopes of getting the Bronze Bird Tower event. Because, you know, that's really important that I get it. Stuff. I almost conquered China, but I won't be satisfied until I build some kind of Bronze Bird. Leave in this land today. Alright, then I'm moving to Yi. Good luck, uh, people that I left behind for the big invasion. Let's get another warship going. This will take 30 days, okay. Please wait a while until the warship's ready. Eh, so I'll wait until I've got four warships. Maybe even more than that before I attack, I guess. Yes, there's a bunch of warships just sitting here, but I have to cross Blue Cherry to, to transport them. And the computer, which controls that area, just refuses to freaking use them. Pissing me off. This one's for Guan Pi! Boom, you're dead. You're Pang Tong becoming more, you became a more powerful warrior. Alright. Food. You got 190 days worth of food. You got more food than Jing Tsai does. Maybe you should come down here and uh, start messing with this port. Understood. I will start messing with that port as you instructed, my lord. Now, we got another technique to learn. Uh, there's already something being researched. Well, shit. I guess I never did finish Develop Juggernauts, did I? This play oh, come on. You guys need to attack. ATTACK already! Oh, damn it. I'm. You guys have got to attack! District 3. What are your freaking, uh... This is District. I guess Jiangling is District 3. Oh, for some reason the divide is here and this, they're right next to each other. If they're not going to attack, they need to just frickin' uh... Force Capture Shun Kwan. I did authorize attack. Come on, Jen Hong, you're like super bravery, dude. You wrote up your own bio where you like were a solemn warrior dude who like blessed your sword before battle and mourned the lives of the fawn and like Mr. Honor and stuff, and you're like friends with Guan Yu. And you had that exciting journey to get to the Kingdom of Shu where you like turned a, a ram unit into like a boat and rode across the sea and and now you're gonna just like not attack? It's, I guess, you know what, he's heartbroken because he's having to fight his former allies in Wu, and this is tough for him to do and, and maintain a sense of being an honorable warrior. Let, let's go with that. Because otherwise, just be freaking lazy. <laughs> Take this, Jingbo, motherfucker. Oh shoot, I should have ended this video. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to end it now, and um, I'll just pick up this um, this turn when I come back. Uh, Alright, so folks, uh, 
Guan Lu is staring into our souls, which means it's time to end another video. When we come back, I'm going to finish this turn. Uh, I'm going to try to stay on offense throughout. Like, I might order transport units to send boats to that city that Liu Bei was in, where he just left to go to Ye. But I don't think I'm going to wait for them to get there before I start trying to make offensive moves out of that city. Or then maybe I'll just build up that city and send a really big-ass force out of there when the boats do arrive. Either way, I want to be advancing on several fronts against Wu, because it's really time for this LP to be pretty much over. So when we come back, we're going to keep moving in that direction. Thank you much for watching, folks. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.